water just in case I need it. I have a spoon just in case I need it. And I have a whiskey. I'm ready to go. This is a Goodridge and Williams High Rye Grains Canadian Whiskey aged in new oak and ex-bourbon barrels. 40% alcohol by volume and it's made in Delta BC which is a quick hour and a half ferry ride from the terminal which is about a 20 minute drive, 25 minute drive from here. So if I wanted to go there it would take me yeah, two and a half hours and that is if I just got to the ferry as it, it was loading and leaving. But that's the mainland for you. We're on an island. And so I don't take the ferry very often. In fact, the last time I took it was a couple of years ago, but I digress. I'm going to open this and let you know what I think. You may recall that I have already tried three other expressions of Goodridge and Williams. One of them was just a... Um, ex-bourbon, I think mostly corn. Another one was a single malt, I think. And another one was 100% rye. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'd, I'd have to go look at the videos or actually check the bottles over there. Um, yeah. Well, this is the, the fourth of four that I have. We also have a 2019 Victoria Whiskey Festival Glen Cairn glass. 2019. Isn't that what I said? Something like that. All right. We got the plastic off. This is a tight, tight cork, just like the others. It's also synthetic, which I guess would pre prevent the spread of germs and disease and, and rot and um, things like that. No way this whiskey is going to get corked by a bad cork. And I think I poured a little much, but it's only 40%, so it uh, should be all right. I'll be able to try other things after that. Mm. Oh, what do we got for... There's a nice ridge there. The droplets are forming. They're forming slow. Oh, down they go. Down they go slowly. Thin legs, but there's still some of them are still starting to go. Look at that. Huh. Probably because I haven't washed this glass in a while. <laughs> It was one of those that was at the back of the cabinet. But it looks like it's got some viscosity for a 40 percenter. Right away I'm getting some of that rye spice. It smells just like a rye bread like the rye bread I grew up on. The German Austrian style of rye bread. I think I'm also getting a bit of corn sweetness in there. There's something sweet. Probably corn. Yeah, it's like Smells like ears of corn, too. But the first thing that hit me was the rye. Now the rye comes back with a vengeance, even though I was getting some of that corn sweetness for a while. I imagine maybe there's some malted barley in there. Maybe even some unmalted barley. What does it say on the back of the bottle? I think I'll put the cap on just in case I just in case I fumble it. 
It says here, high rye grains uses 50% rye, 50% Canadian winter wheat. Ah, no corn. So the, spite, the uh, sweetness is coming from winter wheat. Interesting. To create an exceptionally smooth blended whiskey. It features the bold and spicy character of rye, which make Canadian rye whiskeys famous around the world. Okay, I got that. Aged in both new oak barrels and American bourbon barrels. High rye grains has notes of caramel, oak, and vanilla that balance the rye's white pepper spiciness. Perfect for sipping straight or mixed into a whiskey cocktail. Cheers for Goodridge and Williams Distilling. Ah, well, you know what? I just gave you the preliminaries, what I got on the nose. I don't know what I'm going to get on the palate yet. But, okay, that sweetness is from the wheat. Okay, now I get it. Now, as soon as I read that, I'm, I'm not smelling corn anymore. That power of suggestion is amazing, isn't it? Uh, so winter wheat and rye, 50-50. Ex bourbon and new virgin oak casks. Uh, this should be interesting. It smells good. Now, as I delve a little deeper, I am getting some caramel and some vanilla and not just the spice. Still getting some of that sweetness off the winter wheat, though. That's interesting. Very interesting. It's making my mouth water as I'm nosing it. And it's bold too. For a 40 percenter, I, I noticed that Goodridge and Williams, their whiskeys are bold despite the low alcohol content. Maybe that's because they're young. I have no idea how old this is. But it's youthful and exuberant and bold. And hmm. Oh. Oh, that's nice. And full flavored. Ow. Oh. Now I'm definitely getting the wheat component. There's that wheat component, which kind of coats everything. And then there's, there's the rye spice, which is on the edges of the tongue. And the wheat. Oh. There's caramel and wheat and some vanilla, too. I'm going to have to... Take a smaller sip this time because I was kind of exuberant with that first one. Mm. Mm. Once again, it coats, coats with that weediness. It's like Weetabix. Caramel and vanilla coats everything. And then there's that spicy note once again, just on the edge of the tongue and towards the tip. Mm. This is delicious whiskey. And what did I pay for it? Hi, Rye. High grain, fifty six ninety nine. So uh, five point seven divided by two is goods and services tax of two dollars and eighty nine cents. And uh, what did we say? Uh, plus five point seven. That's the liquor tax is eight dollars and fifty nine cents in taxes plus ten cents bottle deposit plus the initial cost of fifty six ninety nine is equal to 
$65.64 out the door. And you know, for a small distillery who's just getting going, just getting to be known, I think it's a fair price to pay considering the size of the batches. I don't believe the batches are very big. This says number 250. So is this bottle number 250? Probably. And once again, here's what it looks like. Ah, it smells delicious. It's an interest. It's a nice thing about Canadian whiskey. They can be innovative. They don't have to follow. Uh, they don't have to follow the rules that closely. They can do whatever they want with whatever grain. They can malt it. They can leave it unmalted. They can age it in whatever kind of barrel they want. That's the nice thing about Canadian whiskey. It allows for innovation. And uh, this winter wheat and rye blend is just delicious. What were the other ones that they did? Now it's got me going, you know, it's got me curious. All right, I got them all lined up here. Uh, let's see if we can just home in on them. No, well, maybe not. Maybe we can, I don't know, let's see. Okay, we got high no, this is the high rye grains. That's the one I just tried. We got this one, which is the western grains. And what what grains are those? Um, just western grains. Okay. Then there's the northern grains, I think it's this one, which has the uh, uh, winter, winter wheat and malted barley. This one's winter wheat and malted barley. This one's winter wheat and rye. This one's western grains, and this one is northern grains. So there you go. Those are the four Goodridge and Williams expressions that I tried. Okay. So, I guess this finishes the rundown that we've been going on for, what, two or three months. Uh, a good little lineup. If you like your Canadian whiskey and want to try something a little off the beaten track, Goodridge and Williams will do it for you. Cheers. Food quick. 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 <laughs>